When I was a kid, we had this old mirror in my house. I think my mom must have picked it up from a weird garage sale or something. It had two little cabinet doors that would open to a mirror inside. And no matter how much you would clean this mirror, it could never get shiny. You could buff it with wax all you wanted, but it was never totally reflective. Oddly enough, though, sometimes you would open it and it would be crystal clear. Like, it only reflected when it wanted to. The strange thing was, though, that it didn't show people normally. In fact, there were times I remember friends coming over and I would see them with a pimple on their face or a wrinkle on their forehead. Then they would look into the mirror and it would be on the reflection, only no longer on them. Like it had been absorbed into the mirror or something. Most of those people actually loved it though. My sister thought it could fix her complexion. My dad looked into it before he went out with my mom. It became somewhat of an urban legend around the house. No one ever even considered it being sinister in the slightest, but I always had my suspicions. Then one night my sister had a friend over. She was one of her otter friends, always a bit insecure. You would never know it from speaking to her though. She always pretended to be the coolest girl in the entire school. Jessica had heard about the mirror that makes people look better through the grapevine, and she was all about it. She decided that she was going to try sleeping, looking into the mirror all night. She was already beautiful but not beautiful enough, I guess. That night she brought the mirror out to the living room and set her sleeping bag up beside it. She then laid her pillow right out in front of it and began her journey off into dreamland. Knowing that neither me or my sister would be able to talk her out of it, we just decided to let it go. I guess we figured what's the worst could happen, you know? When I awoke the next morning, the house was in a state of panic. I heard my mom screeching at this hideous scream echoing throughout the house. I walked into the living room and Jessica wasn't there. She must be up and walking around the house or something, I thought. I walked hesitantly into the kitchen, and to my horror, it was practically destroyed. Plates and glasses were broken everywhere, and silverware was spilled all over the floor. As I stepped further inside, I could make out the backside of Jessica as she stared out the window. Her hands were covering her face, and she was looking straight down. She was making these bizarre little muffled moans that eked from her direction. Jessica, are you okay? Slowly as she turned toward me, the changes in her facial structure became more evident. Her hands dropped down and I noticed she was missing the front portion of her hair. She turned fully around and I saw the terrible thing she had become. There was a rounded mash of flesh where her face used to be. She had no eyes, partial ears, no mouth. Pretty much anything that had been visible in the mirror basically was smoothed out and there were just minor little bulges and grooves where her features used to be. She still made sounds though, crying shrieks from deep within her throat. I ran back into my living room and no matter how terrified I was, there was still one last piece of the puzzle that had to be explored. I slowly crept over to the mirror and as I looked at the old wooden doors to it, I got the sense that it knew what it had done, and it knew we could do nothing about it. But yet I had to see. I had to know what it would look like. I fearfully opened the doors and looked into the mirror. I saw an imprint on the mirror of Jessica staring into it with this giant gaping grin on her face, stuck in that position, perhaps forever. Jessica began to fumble her way to the living room, shrieking and begging for my help. But there was only one thing I could do for her. I had to break the mirror. I lifted the heavy mirror up as high as I could and smashed it against the ground. Then I did it again and again until all the pieces were broken apart completely. Looking down at the ground, I suddenly realized the horrible mistake I had made. Hundreds of the little pieces gazed up at me each and every one of them, taking from me what they wanted, multiplying the mirror's power and intensity. I screamed as my face began to lose shape. My mouth sealed up, ears closed. Then there was just darkness. I never found out what happened to that mirror. I just know that I've been kept alive, and all I can do is hope that somehow someone found a way to destroy it. Please tell me someone found a way to destroy that mirror.